we're back, fellas. Last year we went so close. If we'd listened to Dan, him, we would have right. actually got the Melbourne Cup trifecta. But same as last year. So we're going to take a five-horse box. Everyone's going to have input in it. So I've asked you to come with your three must-haves, or your top three, anyway, yeah. they're going to argue. Turfy, take okay, it away. I'm going international. I think you have to, uh, without a fight. Uh, number six from Europe. Just got the right profile for this. He will stay. Dover legend, my second pick. I know he's the favourite. Little nagging doubt for me about a couple of things, but he's a good horse. And I've got to chuck the Aussie in here. The bottom one, number 24, Realm of Flowers. She is airborne. Realm of Flowers in your mix? Look, she wasn't initially, but it's starting to resonate with me now with the track conditions and there's a sense of timing about it. And I think we all need to look at putting in a, a local horse as well. Um, a bit of patriotism's got to come out because I've got Doville Legend without a fight, the same Quinella as Turfy has got. But? Your third one? Well, Val and Declare. Oh, I, don't I, be silly. Yeah, well... Don't I think he's silly. going as well now as he's yeah, as going as well now as before he won his Melbourne Cup. No horses won it. He's Melbourne got to Cup. be in the mix. He's got to be no, in the no, mix. No, he doesn't have to be in the mix. Well, well you're look, making him be in the mix. So we need. We know he's going to stay. Yeah. Depending on the track, a little question mark if little, it gets if it gets little, too wet. But he will stay. And we also know that if he's at his best, he's good enough. And and they've got to be the credentials in a cup that's not a vintage What's quality three field, is it? Years ago. Three Four years Cup ago. Run was very no, it's good. never happened before. No Melbourne Cup winner has Peter won Pan race. did it two years apart, oh, and right. this will be another fairy tale because I think Val and Declare has got a genuine <laughs> chance. Did you hear that? The fairy tale. Us, yeah. He's Peter got Pan. Us. Wow. My three. Dover Legend. So we all agree. Yes. So that's yep. one lock. Yep. Realm of Flowers. I think there's enough weight there to say Realm's got to be in the five. Well, both of you have got her in your top three. So mm. I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing to start. I've ang She's in. All right. And Luna Flair, I'm going to... My, I, I seem to be out on a limb here with Luna Flair, but have we, I, I think we've landed on at least two or three. Yep. So who who can we lock in at the moment? The locks. As prepared earlier, Doville legend without a fight. There was no doubt about that. You no. guys make a really good case with Realm of Flowers. Uh, sense of timing about her. She will stay. She'll enjoy the conditions down in the weights. So she's in. Number 24 is Realm of Flowers. She's in. That's one, two, three. But hang on. There's blank spots for four yeah, and five. I know. So this I'm is going to be tough. I'm going to turn two turfy loose first. So <laughs> give us one must uh, one for those must. last two I was going to tip... Deshwan Sweet Junior, but I think I was going to do that just so I could say the name. <laughs> so I will go Luna Flair. Why? Because she's a quality mare. She races well at Flemington. She likes rain-affected ground. She's flying at the moment, absolutely flying. I've got no issues with her running the trip, being a daughter of Fiorento, be the eighth horse who's uh, won a Melbourne Cup after being sired by a Melbourne Cup winner. I'm sticking with her. Oh, uh Luna Flair's in my three. Yeah, look, you make a really good case there, and I'd have to round her out probably in my top five as well. If the horse that beat her, Francesco Gardi, was in this year's mm. Melbourne Cup, he'd be an $8 shot. He, he would. He'd be single figures oh, for I sure. think it makes sense. All right, she's in. Luna right. Flair is in. Number so 18 is in. We've got a fourth mm. Luna Flair, but now we get to the hard part. I mean, uh, look, I, I want to I wanna ask you about a couple of these internationals. Yes. You've watched a zillion replays. Yes. Kimura. Who no. you are they good enough? I don't think Kimura's good enough. Um, he's got some handy European form now with a Hayes camp. And hey, uh, Mal, it was so poor at Goodwood, wasn't he? There was a rain affected it, track it was. there. Up in trip, well, they only tested a, a, a decent staying trip. I don't think we got a good idea as mm. to whether he can stay. I'm doubting he can stay. I don't like to say that about Gay Waterhouse Are we saying horses. no? I, I think no. We're saying no. no. We're saying no. Kamora, no. All right, yeah. a couple of other big ones. Because yes, on. these are ones I agonised over for my three. Why haven't we even mentioned Montefilia? Enormous in the Caulfield Cup. You know, she's probably the best horse in the race. Yeah, best Australian but horse what, in the race. She's a great mare. Five? May not. She's weighted up to her best, too. Well, the best uh, mare in the world didn't get out of top five last year. Very elegant. <laughs> well, so how's Montefiore going to get in? That's a reasonable call, that one. Um, look, she's flying. Um, does it, she want it too wet? Is she going to run two miles? I'm doubting I'm she I'm happy can to get go around her 
as a winning chance, but, you know, she's a good mare. What about the non-winner gold trip? Again, haven't even mentioned. But it's a trifecta, so... He looks and he so keeps running good races there. Poorly there, weighted, he? doesn't he, with one win in 57 and a half. <laughs> the Caulfield Cup he, run, it was one. a ripper. It was. He ran super in the Caulfield Cup, and I think Jamie Spencer would like his ride again in the Cox Plate too, so... I think he's going OK. Blink is off to help him get out to that two miles. Uh, not potting him, but don't want to be on him at 57 hours. I tell you what, if one of our top five gets scratched, how about we have him as an emergency that he goes <laughs> in if the others come out? Because I don't know if I can trust him. I, I think he's got a lot of ability, but I think we can do better. All right, okay. well, we still haven't solved who, who the fifth is. I'll chuck so one at you. Who? Smoke and Romans, the forgotten horse, the favourite oh, for the court. Everybody well, was talking it. about it. Yeah, not for me. Do you want to hear why, or are you just going to... Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, very good stayer. Loves Flemington. Loves Flemington. Good slow track horse. No weight. J Carr on board trying to win her first Melbourne Cup. Tick, tick, tick. I tell you what, where the big tick Cross would have been. He would have been initially set for the 2800 metre race on Flem uh, Flemington oh, on Cup right? Day. So I would agree to put him in if it was in that race. Look... Positively, he was favoured for the Caulfield Cup. He surprised everyone. Uh, it wasn't and, a great ride at Caulfield, you know. And it wasn't a great performance either, <laughs> or a great field for that matter, um, compared to the last couple of years. Oh, I'm saying him? no. He's got the power of veto. No, he anyway. has, I know. And, and, I'm and he's saying, got we'll the make pen a good board. case for I something. I just made well, a good no, case. Yeah. Oh. Look, we've tried. You've listened to me on Lunar Flare. Who are you saying well, should be in? Well, my trifecta had number 10 oh, in there, Vow and Declare. Go Vow, I've got to go with my he's heart. He's a sentimental well, Why did you man, ask me that? His run was better than Smoke and Romans in the Caulfield Cup. Yep, he's in. So we're set. Guys, he's in. Number 10. Completes our five. For the 2022 Melbourne Cup, I vow and declare <laughs> that number 10 goes in and we'll get this trifecta. And, and I well, love it. And welcome to the Dan Malecki Show. There they are. Eight Dover legends, six without a fight, 24 Realm of Flowers, 18 Lunar Flare and 10 Vow and Declare. Done, done, all done. Guys, I'm going to put it on. Good luck. I'm done.